Imagine a project that's over 12 kilometres long, completely underground, and took 12 years to plan and construct. A project involving hundreds of people working 2.8 million man hours around the clock. A project providing critical support to Melbourne's population and its environment for the next 100 years. Welcome to the Northern Sewerage Project. Delivered jointly by Melbourne Water and Yarra Valley Water, this has been one of the largest sewerage tunnelling operations ever undertaken in Australia. Using the expertise of project managers Oricon, design engineers SKM and Jacobs Associates, and constructors John Holland, the sewer runs under eight of Melbourne's northern suburbs and has been built to alleviate two critical community issues. Firstly, it has increased the sewer capacity to cater for the rapid population growth in Melbourne's north. And secondly, it has minimised sewage overflows into local creeks and waterways that were occurring after heavy rainfall events. The project required considerable planning including social and technical studies, detailed designs and a long-term vision for Melbourne's future sewerage needs. After extensive research, a deep underground sewer was chosen for its social and environmental credentials. And the natural elevation of the northern suburbs meant a gravity-fed system was achievable that would be energy efficient and require minimal maintenance. Ground conditions, water tables and the existing sewer network were comprehensively analysed to ensure that the new sewer could be built safely and efficiently. Data forecasts and scale models were also created to help define the specifications and capacity of the new sewer. Geological samples were taken in hundreds of locations to help build a picture of the highly variable ground conditions. And as a result, three customised tunnel boring machines were commissioned out of Germany and America. Australian-made glass fibre reinforced plastic pipes were chosen to line the sewer as these perform much better than traditional concrete in the aggressive sewage environment. And the Northern Sewerage Project has been one of the first in Australia to use this innovative technology on such a large scale. Throughout the planning stage, community groups, councils and the Victorian Government were extensively consulted to ensure the project could be built with minimal disruption to residents, businesses and traffic. Eight years of research, design engineering and consultation went into planning the Northern Sewerage Project. And construction commenced in 2007 in five distinct stages. Stage one of construction was to build eight above ground work sites where access shafts were excavated, some up to 64 metres or 20 storeys deep. These shafts provided underground access for the huge amount of tunnelling equipment and resources needed. The three largest sites then built state-of-the-art acoustic enclosures over the access shafts, so construction could run 24 hours a day with minimal noise impact on local residents. Stage two of construction was to bore the 12.5 kilometres of new sewer tunnel. Using every known tunnelling method, including road headers, pipe jacking, soft and hard rock drilling, hand excavation and blasting with explosives. The bulk of the tunnelling was done by the three tunnel boring machines, each over 90 metres long, weighing in excess of 200 tonnes each and needing a crew of eight to operate in challenging conditions. These machines encountered soft sands and clays through to basalt rock that was up to 20 times harder than concrete. And over the course of the project, some 360,000 tonnes of earth was taken out of the ground. 
As the machines dug, the crew lined most of the tunnels with concrete rings to support the ground. These rings were delivered in segments and assembled in the very tight working conditions. A subterranean rail system was used extensively to transport workers and materials. And the tunnels were fitted with air, water, electricity, phones, emergency services, kitchens and toilets. The third stage of construction was to install the actual sewer pipes inside the tunnel. And the glass fibre reinforced plastic pipes were manoeuvred into position using custom made pipe carriers. The pipes connected into each other using rubber rings to seal the joints and ensure no leaks. And grout was pumped around the pipes to secure them in place. Stage four of construction was to line all the access shafts with concrete, some with an additional high density polyethylene liner for extra corrosion protection. The fifth and final stage of construction involved connecting the new sewer to the existing system. Because the new sewer is deeper underground than the existing sewer, custom designed vortexes were engineered to join these together. The vortexes are spiral like structures that ease the sewage down with minimal disturbance which in turn minimises gas and odour. Some parts of the existing sewer needed to be temporarily shut off during the connection works and the sewage flow diverted around the working areas using bypass pumps and pipes. Interlocking concrete lids were then placed on top of each shaft to allow future access for inspections. Quality control was undertaken at every stage of construction ensuring that the sewer met all its building criteria and long-term operational goals. Throughout the project, a dedicated community engagement team ensured residents were kept well informed through regular newsletters, site visits, meetings, websites and a 24-hour phone line. And an environmental management team was responsible for protecting water quality, flora and fauna, as well as monitoring noise, dust, vibration and traffic at every worksite. The project used an extensive number of trades and introduced new technologies and innovation alongside industry best practice. And life continued above ground for four years, while construction took place below lounge rooms, restaurants and roundabouts. The Northern Sewerage Project has been connected into the broader sewerage network which flows directly to the Western Treatment Plant in Werribee. The glass fibre reinforced plastic pipes require minimal maintenance and the sewer will need very little ongoing inspection. An air treatment facility has been purpose built to extract and treat air from the new sewer. And local residents were actively involved in determining the location and architecture of this building. All construction sites have been rehabilitated and enhanced with additional landscaping. And to celebrate the project and acknowledge the community's involvement, Melbourne Water and Yarra Valley Water established a $4 million community benefits fund to enhance local parklands with native flora, playgrounds, barbecues and fitness facilities, as well as develop and improve local wetlands. Commissioned ahead of schedule in late 2011, safely, skillfully and under budget, the new sewer now has the capacity to service 70,000 additional homes and businesses in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. It also has the capacity to handle heavy rainfall events, meaning local waterways, including the Merry and Mooney Ponds creeks, are now protected against sewage overflows. The Northern Sewerage Project has been a critical initiative for the future growth of Melbourne's north on a scale not seen before. And it will deliver world-class community and waterways health for a long time to come. <laughs>